Hi, I'm Paul Teasdale with Team Teasdale Realty. I've been selling homes in Provo, Utah since 1995, and I have put together some free things if you're selling your home for sale by owner where I can help you. One of those things are just, you know, if you have questions as you're out there selling your home and you'd like to talk to somebody um, in the area that's familiar with real estate, feel free to call me anytime. I'm happy to answer any questions. The main thing in this video that you'll see is a comparative market analysis. I'm going to explain what it is and I'll also prepare a report for you on the value of your home, a second opinion about what it's worth. Another thing that I'll do is provide the forms for you. If you're looking for blank forms in coordinating the, your sale of your home in Provo, I'm happy to do that too, so stay tuned on the video. Down below in the description, you can see my, um, if you click the links, you'll see my other videos about my opinion on the current market conditions and also my full listing presentation if you're considering hiring a realtor. So anyway, thanks for watching our video. I'd like to prepare a CMA on your home, or what us realtors call a comparative market analysis. This is where we go in and look at the value compared to other homes that have sold or are active or under contract in your neighborhood. And I realize you may have had other people give you ideas or opinions, but it's really good to get a second opinion about what your home's worth, especially from someone that has been in the business for a long time and can give you a very accurate number and valuation on your home. I'm going to be very blunt about the value of your home and give you some true and realistic prices of what I think your home is worth. So getting a second opinion is very valuable. What I do is I go in and I look at all the active homes in your subdivision that are similar to your home. So this is one that I did on a particular home and we pulled up the active homes in that subdivision um, that are homes that are for sale. And then down here, um, also, we pulled up what are called the under contract homes, and there was only one uh, that was close to this home that we were um, doing a CMA for. So we also want to look at under contract homes. Those are homes where sellers have received offers and they're under contract. So there's a buyer pending on that particular home. And then we're going to look at the sold ones, and this is where we've got a a little bit bigger inventory you see over here. These are all the sold homes that are similar to our subject. Um, and what we do is we put in all the specs about your home right in here, bedrooms, bathrooms, you know, half bath, full bath, square footage, percentage finished in the basement, and you know, how many garages you have, your acreage, and they give you a valuation of what your home is worth. Now what, what this does, the software goes through and makes an adjustment for um, each of the, comparing you to each of the homes in those different categories. And it's interesting to look at how you compare not only to the sold homes, but the under contract homes and the active homes um, that are currently for sale. Those are actually your current competition. So typically my report is usually about 15 pages um, long. But one other thing that's really interesting is that as you look at the map, um, you can see it'll plot out where the homes are um, in comparison to yours. So here's the subject right here, letter A. We actually put that one under contract a couple days ago. And um, here's the other homes that are active. The green are the active, yellow are the under contract, and the sold are in the red. So here's our under contract over here. So you can see you want to have your comparisons in a close proximity. All of these comparisons are within uh, probably a mile or maybe three quarters of a mile radius from the subject, which is, which is a, a lot more accurate if you can get them close together. So give me a call. I'd like to give you a free comparative market analysis on what your home is worth. As you're selling your property, you may find a buyer that doesn't know how to put an offer together. And that's why having a real estate purchase contract on hand is going to be very handy. And you may want to have this um, to give to your buyer. This is the real estate purchase contract. And I'd be happy to give you a, co a copy of a blank one of these. This is a six page form, as you see down in the bottom left corner. And it specifies how much earnest money you're putting down how much, um, what your offer price is, when you would like to settle and close on your property, when they're gonna do their inspections. You can't just sell your property on a handshake or, or feel like you have some kind of commitment. These things need to be put into writing. If you have questions about the purchase contract, you know, just let me know, but I'm happy to send you a blank copy. 
The other thing is, is a counter offer or if you, you know, want to add things to your contract. We call these addendums. I can send you some blank addendums as well. And the third thing that is really important when you're putting your property for sale is doing proper disclosures. This is the laws in Utah require you as a homeowner to make full disclosure of your property. For example, if you've had a leak in your roof, you need to disclose if that leak has been repaired or if it's still leaking. Um, and so right here in this section is talking about the roof and you, you specify what's going on with the roof if this repair has been made. Now this is a seven page form and if you don't fill out the seller's property condition disclosure, you're telling the buyer that you basically everything's working and you're creating a liability for yourself. So it's very important to be 100% honest and have the buyer also sign and agree to their seller the seller's property condition disclosure. So if you'd like a copy of this as well, feel free to let me know and I'll send you a blank copy of this form. Um, I just hope to be there if you should choose to interview a realtor uh, for the job of selling your home, but I'll send you all these things and give you whatever help I can for free. If you follow this arrow on the left, you'll see on the YouTube video some extra links under the description. One of those is my opinion about the current market conditions in Utah County, what the forecast is, what's going to happen with the market. You may be interested to see my opinion about that. Also, my full listing presentation. If you're considering hiring a realtor, you may want to check out what we can do and compare it to other realtors. Also, down below in the video links, you'll see how to search for homes if you're going to stay in Utah County, um, how to find short sales, bank foreclosures, and stuff like that in Utah County. So give me a call today, and I'd be happy to help you with whatever you need. 